So let's go into the specific organizational structures for principal agent, team leader, and owner models. And this goes back to making sure you're going after what you really want. Uh, this section here, I was blessed um, to work with uh, Bob Corcoran, um, Corcoran Consulting. And the biggest takeaway that I got from my time with Bob was really working through these models. So when I look at the principal agent versus team leader versus corporate model, um, having that framework, I was already pretty far along in building it, but having this as a backdrop and understanding why these different structures were in place and how to go from one structure to the next structure to the next structure is critically important. So that's what we're going to focus on here in this section here is how, no matter where you are, you may already have a business that's putting out 200 transactions, but you don't even know where you are in the different structure. Um, this will give you the three steps that you need in order to, to really build the kind of organizational structure that will serve you in the way that you want your business to serve you. So let's start here with the principal agent model. So at the top of each of these diagrams that we'll go through is you or me. Um, so this is where I was when Tia was my client care person here on the left of your screen. Chris was my first buyer agent hire. So that was the end of 2009. There was the three of us. These two shaded squares here are additional buyer's agents. So in the 2010 timeframe is pretty much when we had an average of two to three buyer agents at a given time. And so I was the principal agent. I was still out producing everyone. You know, I was out producing Chris two to one. Um, and so that's roughly 2009, 2010 timeframe. So then when we look at team leader, so this is when I'm still involved in, in production. I'm managing uh, the admin team and I'm managing the sales team. So I had a differentiator between, um, but I never had agents that did both sides. So I always had buyer agents and listing partners. Um, but I managed the sales team. So I didn't have a person in that green box there. And I was also managing the, the admin team. So we had Tia working on buyer closings and I had a different person who was no longer with us working on seller management. So I had a couple people that I managed there. I had, um, we called her client care coordinator at the time. She's now my admin services manager. And I'll show you my org chart here in a second, but this is basically what we ran 2011, you know, was when I hired my first listing specialist. And then I hired another listing specialist in 2012. And the admin team was taking on a little bit uh, more form as we went into 2010 with just Tia. In 2011, we hired the listing manager. Um, we hired inside salesperson. And then we ended up hiring, separating out the buying, buyer closing and the, and the listing client care. So that's the team leader model. And then we look at the corporate model. So this is where I am currently. And so Keely is uh, my sales manager and Cherie is my operations manager. So under Cherie, we have a seller client care person. We have a buyer client care person. Um, we don't have, we don't have an on-staff career or we don't even have an on-staff photographer anymore. So there's basically a couple people under um, the gray box on the left side there on the bottom side, that's, we have a, a part-time person here that kind of helps out with operations. Um, the sales side, we've got, I think we have four, um, existing and three new buyer agents. So our buyer production this year, over a hundred sides is from four agents only. We've got a couple listing partners. Uh, one of our buyer's agents, we, he was half time. He was our like two and a half listing specialist. So he's now transitioning over to listing side, plug and play style. And we've got a couple inside salespeople. One is offshore, sort of helping Keeley generate seller leads. And one is in our office on the buyer side. So that's what we look, that's what we look like right now. 